face this morning. Everybody looks so beautiful, so awake. It's good to see you all. Did you guys come to see us or did y'all come to worship God? I'm sorry, did y'all come to see us or did y'all come to worship God this morning? Because y'all look good, but I came to worship God this morning. Y'all look beautiful, y'all smell good, but I came to worship God this morning because there's some things that he's been doing for me all week and he kept us all week. So let's go ahead and give God the biggest praise this morning. Hallelujah. All right. We're going to go ahead and get the worship experience started. Let's go ahead and clap our hands as our choir comes and leads us in worship this morning. Hallelujah. Put your hands together this morning. How many of you know that the Lord is awesome? Lord, you are awesome. Say, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Sing it again. Say, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Somebody say, say, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Open your mouth and say, Lord. Oh, somebody say, Lord. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. God is awesome. Say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Oh, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, wasn't for your grace. If it wasn't for your love, wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Somebody say, say, Lord. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know. If it wasn't for your love, I don't know. We're going to take it up again. Come on. Everybody sing. And you reign every day. Lord, you are awesome. Somebody say, Lord, Lord hey, you are awesome. if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know. Open your mouth this morning. If it wasn't for your wasn't for your grace. I don't know. We're gonna take it up again. Oh, say Lord. Lord awesome. Somebody get on your feet this morning. Lord, if you believe it, get on your feet. Say Lord. You're awesome. Somebody say, say Lord. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your, love, wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I would be. Somebody declare, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Now put your hands together this morning. Does anybody believe that he's awesome today? 
now we're just gonna simply say Lord you're awesome y'all ready you are awesome you are awesome you are awesome say you are awesome say Lord you're awesome my God you're awesome you reign on the just, awesome. and you reign on the unjust. You awesome. Yeah, you're awesome. you awesome. Somebody say you're awesome. You awesome. Oh, oh. You awesome. God, you're awesome. Say, you awesome. I love to lift your name. You awesome. I love to praise your you name. Awesome. You are awesome. Say, you are awesome. You are awesome say. You are awesome. You are awesome, say, hey, you are, you are awesome, you are awesome, you are awesome, you are awesome, 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 you are 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 awesome. You're awesome. you're awesome. Everything that you've done for us, awesome. even those things you haven't done yet, awesome. those things I don't understand, awesome. healing in my body, awesome. deliverance in my mind. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Hallelujah, Lord.
serve a good God, a great God. We serve a God who is awesome. If we had have gone to a concert, if we had have gone to a, a game, we would have been able to stand to our feet for the people that we, we respect the most. And how dare we not stand up and give God the greatest praise that we can. Some of us were screaming and hollering when it was the Super Bowl, but here we are in the face of God and we want to keep our mouths closed when it's because of him that we have more. It's because of him that we have a place to stay. It's because of him that we have food on our table. He is awesome. 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 Hallelujah. Let us go before the throne and just let God know how awesome he is this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you today, Father God. We thank you for a brand new day, oh God, a day that we have not seen, Father God, but that you know all of the intricate details about, Father God. So because of that, Father God, we will rejoice and be glad in today, Father God, because we know that the plans that you have for us are plans for us to prosper, Father God, mentally, physically, financially, romantically, whatever it is, Father God, we know that the plan that you have for us on today, Father God, are for us to be whole and healthy and happy, Father God, that you never designed for us to be in a world full of so much grief and so much anger and so much hatred, Father God. But because we are here, Father God, we know that you will always be our protector, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father God. And no matter how we came in, Father God, we are thankful this morning that your spirit is already here that your spirit is meeting us right where we are, oh God, so that when we leave here, we won't leave bound up. We know that the enemy has been playing with our minds for much too long, Father God, but because of the fact that you're here, you're whispering in our ears that we are not what our circumstances look like. Father God, you are whispering in our ears that you love us and we love you too. We thank you, oh God, for everything that you are doing in our lives and what you're going to do in this service, Father God, because some of us have come so bound, Father God, with so many worries, Father God, but we come this morning, Father God, saying thank you. We come this morning, Father God, regardless of what's going on in our lives, Father God, to give you the glory, to give you the honor, to give you the praise, to celebrate you, oh God, because we want to confuse the enemy this morning. I know he thought we were going to be defeated, but we came to tell him that the devil is alive. So this morning, oh God, we're going to give you all of the praise, all of the worship. Father God, I pray that our pews would get so hot that we couldn't sit there any longer. That we must jump to our feet in all the things that you have done in our lives, no matter what today looks like, no matter what yesterday looks like. And Father, we won't be worried about tomorrow. Because we know that tomorrow is going to have its own trials and tribulations, but it's also going to come with a new amount of grace and glory. And so for today, we're going to use this energy that we have on today, Father God, to bless your holy name, to honor you, Father God, regardless of what it looks like. Father God, we pray for the man that's going to bring the word. Father God, we pray that it would be a right now word that we need, something that encourages us. Lord God, let it be a seed that will be planted in our minds, in our hearts, in our spirits, oh God, so that when we leave here, we will see the evidence, Lord God, by it being fruit that will be manifest. It's in Jesus' name that we say thank you, thank you, thank you, amen, amen, and amen. worship you I live to worship you I live I live to worship you Ooh. everybody say to worship you to worship
because of who you are? for the scripture, but I don't know about y'all, but I just have this worship on the inside of me. And if we could just take a moment, choir, no, no singing, but just music, just so we can posture our hearts to receive from the Lord. There's so much that he is pouring out in this season, and there's so much distractions that are going on, but we have to be mindful, church, that just because the bad things are going on on the other side, God is keeping us, and he deserves all of that. So, while the music is playing, let's close our eyes for a moment. And let's just think about the goodness of the Lord. Let's think about everything that he has done in your life. Everything that he is doing right now. See, you don't know it, but the Holy Spirit is moving from pew to pew, from heart to heart, to mind to mind. Some of us can just think of back, not even that long ago, maybe it was this morning or yesterday, but he has brought you through a mighty long way. There are some things that you have been struggling with and you know that if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? Some of us would have been in a mental institution. Some of us would have been dead and gone. Some of us would have been sleeping up under a bridge. Some of us would have been sleeping in our cars. But God, but God. So let us not rush past this moment. Let the music, the instruments, minister to your hearts 
See, sometimes we think we have to have a lot of words, and sometimes we don't. Sometimes all we need is the experience that we've had, and the music can just take us to those places. So let's just take a few minutes right now. Think about the goodness of God while the music ministers. They used to. Like they used to. Look at your neighbor. Friends don't. don't treat, me. treat me like they used to. Like they used to. How many of you know that friends won't? need to lay some burdens down today. My burdens down. Come on, y'all. Since I lay. Since I lay. My burden. My burden down. Since I lay. Since I lay. Since I lay. My burden down. We gonna tell them one more time. Friends don't treat me. I know somebody feel that today. Like they used to. Like they used to. More of my friends don't. Friends don't Y'all better sing choir. Like they used to. Look at your neighbor and say, friends don't treat me. Don't dream it, dream it. Like they used to. Like they used to. Since I lay. Since I lay. That I laid my burdens down, say My burdens down Since I laid, since I laid, since I My burdens down How many of y'all know Since I, since I, since I My burdens down Now come on and put your hands together this morning Now to think about laying your burdens down, 
It starts to feel better. You start to feel a little bit lighter. So we gonna sing. We gonna tell you that it just feels better. Come on, y'all. It feels better. Come on, so much better. Come on. I feel better. I feel better, y'all. I feel better. I just want to acknowledge any of our first-time visitors. If we have any first-time visitors in the house today, you want to stand. And we want to acknowledge you and say thank you so much for joining us today. There are so many other churches that you could have gone to, but we're so thankful that you chose Victory. Um, if there's anything that you would like to stay, we want to welcome you. 
<laughs> how special, how special. Amen, amen. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move right on with the program. We're going to go ahead and do the worship, um, and then Evangelist Janair will come and lead us in altar prayer. So the spirit is already high already, y'all. Hey, hey. And uh, I want to keep it up, though. How many know that Jesus is real? Yeah. I said, how many of y'all know that Jesus is real? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He's real to me. He should be real to y'all because y'all woke up this morning. So uh, we're going to sit here and give him all the praise because of how real he is. Put your hands in. I'm feeling low, yeah. nowhere to go. Jesus comes along and makes me strong. Oh, I know, oh, I know. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. Jesus is real. Hey. Baby boy, y'all.
know he is. I know he is. I know he is. I know he is. Say yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Lord God, and as we get ready for the Lent season, Lord God, we thank you for Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the sacrifice that we may have a chance at everlasting life. Lord God, we ask that you forgive us, for we fall short daily. Lord God, we're asking that you forgive us for the sins that we know about, and more importantly, God, for the sins that we don't. Lord God, we are asking you that you continue to be with Thank you. 
just going to take a moment to pause for a family who is standing in the need of prayer. And so I pray, Victory Family, that we would embrace this family, that we would cover this family, that we would love on this family, because a lot of them are going through some things that some of us have no idea what it feels like. And so I just want to pray for the family. If there's anyone in particular who wants to come and meet me at the altar, I'll pray with you. Otherwise, we can build an altar right where you are, and we'll meet you wherever you are. We have many prayer warriors in the house today. So if God is moving on your heart for you to come and stand with this family, to put your hands on this family, to wrap your arms around this family, if God is moving in such a way, I pray and I beg that you would come, that you would come and you would love on this family. thing about it, we all know that gun violence is really real. We know that there's been many attacks on our young men, our young women. Some of us have been in the streets ourselves. And so we should come and wrap our arms around this family this morning. Father God, we say thank you. Thank you, O oh God, for everything that you are continuing to do in our lives, Father God. Father, we say thank you today, O oh God, because we know, Lord God, that every day, Lord God, that it's a blessing to be here, Father God, but we also know, Father God, that it's heavy sometimes. Sometimes we don't have the strength, O oh God, to get up in the morning, Father God, but we know that we are getting up because of you, O oh God. We know that there is still purpose, Father God, that there is still something on the other side of this, oh God. And because of the fact, oh God, that we don't understand it, we know that you do, Father God. Father, when we have so many questions for you, we know that we can come to you and we can ask you why. We can ask you how long, Father God. Father God, we know that we can have a conversation with you, Father God. So we pray this morning that you would hear the conversations of this family that are standing before you, oh God. That you would hear what every cry means, Father God. What every tear means, Father God. What every silent prayer is, oh God. Father God, some may not be praying out loud, Father God, but you know what their hearts are in need of, Father God. So Father God, we pray that you would rain down on this family, Lord God, in a way that only you can. Jesus and the Holy Spirit would take over, Father God, and have their way, oh God. Give them the strength, Lord God. Give them the comfort, Lord God. Give them everything that they need, Lord God, for today. Everything that they need to walk out today, Father God. Everything that they need to walk out this next year, Father God. Father God, we don't know what it feels like. But Lord, we pray right now, Lord God, that you would wrap your arms around them. Father God, that we might be standing next to them, but they will feel your presence, oh God. That they will feel your arms around them, oh God. That they will know that they are loved, Lord God. That they will know, Father God, that it's, it's going to be, it's going to be okay. It may not feel like it today, Father God, but we pray right now for strength, oh God. Pray, family. 
as we know how, Father God. Father God, we don't know why, but we are now starting to understand the journey that you have us on, Lord God. We've all had to sit at the altar, and we all had to roll that casket down the aisles, and we had to bury our children. We did not understand, Lord God, why we have this cross on our back. But God, we know that each and every one of us, Lord God, we will have to leave this earth, Lord God, with some type of cross on our backs. We may not never understand it, Lord God, but if you say you trust me, you're going to have to put that cross on your back and God say, you just come on. This cross is heavy, Lord God. The world is looking at us, Lord God. Everybody think this is a celebrity. It is not about celebrity ship, Lord God, but it's about what you have installed and planted in our lives, Lord God, for your purpose and for your kingdom. We always say, God, we want change in the world, but God right now in front of every, every one of us, Lord God, is a change agent. We don't understand why we have to be a change agent, but God, there is purpose in the plan because there's somebody else, Lord God, that's going through the valley that do not understand. But God, you have equipped every last one of us, Lord God, for a season and a purpose, Lord God, so that we can reach back and grab those and tell them, come on. So that everything, God, every step that we take, Lord God, is for you to be glorified. And so, Father God, we just lift our hands up to you. We give you praise and glory, God, for everything that you are doing in our lives right now, Lord God. We sing praises unto you, Lord God, because there's no other like you, Lord God, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you are worthy, Lord God. 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 Our children were stakeholders in order because you said, if I be lifted up, Lord God, I would draw all men unto you. If I be lifted up, every last one of these children laid down in order for you to be glorified. The world sees, not the person just around the corner, Lord God, but the world sees you through the life of our children. And we thank you, Lord God. Even though, God, the pain is so deep that the world do not even understand. But I'm asking you right now, Lord God, to water each and every one of us. God, I ask you that you go into every crevice of our soul, every deep root of in a heart that you cannot even explain. I ask you to water those places. I ask you, Lord God, to let the tears continue to flow. Let the release continue to flow because the world needs to continue to see. They need to see the love through our tears because that's a reflection of you. And if God, if your son hung on the cross for our sins, let us continue to walk in victory. 
towards you and towards the throne. Because God, when it's all over, yes. we want a place in your kingdom. Yes, Lord. Families, you all can say, well done. Yes. When you stand in before the throne. Yes. I said, God, my robe is going to be so tattered by the time I get to you. But I'm going to tell you right now, don't you worry. 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 You just got here. Don't you worry. You just got here. But look. We was all in the community just like you. But God joined us all together for a purpose and a reason. What's in there is coming out. And the world ain't ready for it. Come on. God got us. All the time. Because we will be glorified through all walks in Christ. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. My name is Andrew Joseph Jr. I'm the father of Andrew Joseph III. Nine years ago, my 14-year-old son was killed at the Florida State Fair. The Hills Borough County Sheriff's Department detained him never charged him with a crime, put him in the back of the police car, and abandoned him 100 yards from I-4. As he was trying to get back to the safety of the fair, he was hit on top of I-4 by 19-year-old white male Jonathan Hatfield. Jonathan Hatfield didn't get a ticket. They didn't ask him for a breath test. They allowed him to go home with my son's remain all over his front grill as if nothing had happened. We fought this case here in Tampa for nine years. This past September, we had the opportunity to take this case to court, and we made history in the state of Florida with the biggest settlement ever, ever given. Amen. Fifteen million dollars. Can the church say amen? Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. Now this will never bring my sons back. I have to face the reality every day that I'll never see my child again here on earth. And through this great pain, we have joined with families all over the country that has faced similar situations. And we have built a body of people that's designed to save ourselves because there's no therapy for this. If I was to get burnt up, I can go to the burn center and get therapy. If I had cancer, I could get cancer treatment. But when your loved ones is killed by state violence, there's nowhere to go. Mm. There's no book to teach this healing out of. So with the help of Oscar Grant from Oakland and his Uncle Bobby, Michael Brown from St. Louis and his son, the originator of this sin way, way back before most people in this room were born. The descendants of M Emmett Till, who was killed in Mississippi for whistling at a white woman. When was that? 1955. So we've been dealing with this a long time. And the image that they portray as Jesus he dealt with the same thing as well. Mm -hmm. 
Because he was fighting for the Hebrews, who was the black people of their time. And the Romans were being outnumbered, who were the people in power. And they sent their soldiers, the police of their time, to kill the firstborn of every Hebrew child. Just like today, they send their police, their soldiers of this time, to murder our young men and women. They hung Jesus from a tree, not with the rope around his neck, but with the nails in his hand, the tree of daytime. They're so very afraid of these little kids because that's Generation Z, the last generation that has to deal with this. So we're planting seeds for tomorrow. And it's going to be on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And we will no longer have to deal with this sin. Yes, Church, say amen. Amen. Church, say amen. Amen. Church, say amen. Amen. I won't be as long as my preacher husband, <laughs> but I will say thank you to Victory AME for hosting us this morning. <laughs> and Jain of always remembering us. Every time there's an event or something to do with Bubba, we have an invitation and I'm so grateful for that because it's very seldom you're seen when you're in struggle work such as this because there is a major allegiance to police. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate the family of um, Jaleem Robinson for um, having us and I told the, everyone in the church I might have to change my membership because they did this within 48 hours. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so um, I'm so grateful and um, appreciative that you allowed my family, my movement family, to be here in Tampa and feel the embrace of our Southern hospitality and love and commitment and dedication. So. Um, Stay tuned. We'll be back. Amen. Amen. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you. If I just can, if I just can. Whose house? Whose house? Whose house? Who got the power? Who got the power? Who got the power? We're gonna show them what the power look like. Amen. Power. Break down. Power! Nice. Break down! Ooh. Power! Two times, break down! Ooh, ooh. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So we had a whole word and everything, but I don't think after that, I don't know about y'all, but I think that spoke in, its spell, in itself. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for... Um, our invitation, which is still gonna be done by Reverend Green, but we just need that power one more time. Can we get that power one more time? No problem, no problem. Whose house? Whose house? Whose house? Whose house? Who got the power? The power? Who got the power? Who got the power? Everybody, everybody, show what the power look like. Power! Break down. Power. Break down. Power. Two times. Break down. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Whose house? Whose house? Whose house? The house of the Lord. Amen, everybody. Amen. Ooh, Lord, thank you. So now we're going to jump into our invocation. Um, the word was already done. The good Amen. news was already spread. So there's not much more to do. So as we stand all over our church, the doors are open. The doors of the church are open. If there be anyone...
online or in the sanctuary that don't have that personal relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now is the time. Time you can come and say, here, I am Lord. Maybe there be maybe one that is falling off track and you're ready to commit yourself back to the Lord. The time is now. If you're online and you can just drop us a message, our pastor will get it, and someone will connect with you. But if there be no one, we will now be seated. And we'll move on to our offering. See, I would do that whose house, but I ain't gonna do it like him, so I'm gonna leave that alone. So I'm gonna leave that alone, but um, I tell you, man, God is good. So as our ushers come forward, we ask that you prepare your offerings. See, I was sitting over there all nervous. My stomach was getting knots. But look at God. Yes, Lord, thank you. Everybody feel good? Everybody feel blessed? All right. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we say thank you to those that had the heart to give, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord. Lord, we also say thank you to those that had the heart but not the means, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord. We ask that you just strengthen this offering. Lord, strengthen it a hundredfold, Lord, that it can be a blessing to the church as well as to others. Lord, we ask that you just move right now in a mighty way right now, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord. We ask you to do this in the name of Jesus. And we all say amen, 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 and amen. amen. All things. Our announcements. No, no, you are. Praise the Lord. I'm just so um, filled this morning because that family, those families, we've heard their stories, we've read about their cases, and here they were with us this morning as a reminder that. We may go through some things, but they stood up here like strong soldiers this morning. 
that puts a whole new meaning to in the army of the Lord because they stood here strong with strength this morning. So I know some may not understand why we said there's nothing after that that could have sufficed because God spoke through that family to us this morning. And we didn't need a shouting word. What we needed was a reminder of the fight that we're in. And that some of this fight that we're in is not just the person that's sitting next to you. There's spirits that are attached to these people. That this is a fight that we've been fighting for years upon years upon years upon years that started back in the 1500s. And here we are. It just looks a little different, but it's still the same fight. And we have to be aware and cognizant of what's going on in this fight because they'll continue to change it so that it doesn't look as bad as Come it on. used to be. But it's still the same oppression. Amen. And so we have to be aware of that. So that's why I was so thankful this morning when they spoke and shared their stories and stood here in, their, in the presence with us so that we can walk away and say, Maybe we didn't necessarily hear something out of, the, out of the, the Bible that was crafted by our brother, Reverend Green, but we heard God. Sometimes we have to be aware that God can come in very various shapes and sizes, and he will speak through anyone. It doesn't always have to be the way that we think that it's going to be. So I pray that we would walk away from today with that, if nothing else, that that resonates with us and that it will continue to carry us all week and that whenever we have a weak moment, that we'll just look to that family and say, but God. Praise God, everyone. As we stand all over the church for our benediction. Savior, be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all ages, now, in, forevermore.